Alright, I'm back with another part of my Realm of Thrones Giants only playthrough and last time we had a bit of an introduction, got the playthrough started, we managed to recruit two giants, that was it. But we are on the verge of getting our third giant, we do have 10,000 gold, we should probably save up a little bit more before we recruit our third one, otherwise, well, the wages might cause me to go broke if we don't get some additional gold soon. But the majority of you decided that we should try to keep this playthrough giants only. I asked if you wanted me to recruit some free folk soldiers, but instead we're going to do giants only. And if we struggle or we're not really progressing much because of like the gold issue, then maybe we'll start moving towards getting some free folk soldiers. But otherwise, at the moment, I'm going to try my best to keep it giants only. But right now, we're probably going to have to continue where we left off last time with doing some quests and just keep building that wealth of ours. And once we have a decent sized army, maybe we could become a mercenary for the Free Folk. Maybe we join the Free Folk. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, they share the same goal as us, not to die to the undead and to get south of the wall. So maybe we should team up with them for our own benefit. We do have another tournament in Frostfang's camp. I mean, last time we got a helmet worth 16,000 gold, so I think it'd be a bit foolish to pass up on another tournament. Well, that's a little awkward. I forgot to heal. Hold on. There's another giant in the battle? I didn't sign up for this. No! This was not part of the plan! I was not supposed to fight another giant! Back! Back, beast! Would you like to join my army? Or are you already in my army? <laughs> oh man. See, this is what I mean by giants are absolute tanks. This is why I take next to no damage. This guy's taking three to four damage a hit. It is the battle of the giants. I am Emir, king of my kind. I will not be defeated by some nobody. I just looked at his name, it's 1-1. One, one. I don't know why, but when I see his name, I just think 118. <laughs> he swings faster than me, and he's got a one handed weapon. And we've done it. We have slayed the other giant. And hang on a minute, have I got some arrows in my head? When did we get those? And we are done. We got ourselves one and a half thousand gold and however much this sword is worth. Well, it's not great, but it's not too bad either, to be honest with you. The sword is worth two thousand gold. It is worth more than the tournament win-ins, so I can't really complain too much. And with our newly found wealth, thanks to our tournament victory, we are going to buy ourselves our third giant. We are now an army of four. We're slowly expanding, and I mean slowly, all right. Some broken man has the gut to threaten Emir, King of the Giants. There may only be four of us, my friend, but I don't think you realize what you've got yourself in for. We do have ourselves the giant archer that has yet to see battle, so we can actually test it out and see if it's any good. But we may as well fight these guys on the battlefield. I am not going to back down from 15 peasants. They really have got like portable ballistas. Look at the range on that. You're firing from this distance. I mean, you're not hitting anything, it looks like. <laughs> so even though you are firing from this distance, it, it is it just an intimidation tactic? Is it to strike fear into our opponents? Okay, you killed one. And it was the elder who killed one, I believe. These are just your random bandits, so every arrow seems to be like insta-killing them. 
Whether they'll do that against like armored opponents, I have no idea. But we may as well get this battle over and done with. Well, you know what needs to be done, men. Charge. Well, if I hit this shot, you won't have to charge. There we go. And we're done. We have slowly managed to work our way up to Clan Tier 1. This now means we can have 49 giants in our army. I don't have half a million to recruit the giants that we need. But it's good to know that if I did have half a million, I could have an army of 49. But now that we're Clan Tier 1, in order to progress and keep earning money quicker, I think we should become a mercenary for the Free Folk. Just as a temporary measure, whether, like I said, whether we actually join them permanently or not, I've yet to decide. But at least for now, if we become a mercenary and start earning a bit of a wage, we can start getting more gold and more giants. Mance Raider, my friend, the self-proclaimed king beyond the wall. I wish to join you as a mercenary. One of our free fort camps are being raided by none other than Joe Mormont. Mance Raider has assembled the men. He is on his way with his army of wildlings. One army has already tried to put a stop to them, but has got nowhere. Um, Mance? Mance, are you, are you just going to walk on by? Mance? Alright, well, Mance Raider and his army of wildlings are going home. <laughs> the wildlings have decided not today. They don't want to mess with the Night's Watch. They're going to leave them burn their villages. They're just going to go to hard home and just wait out the winter, I guess. Well, since we became a mercenary, not an awful lot has happened, if I'm completely honest with you. The Free Folk keep assembling armies, but they don't really achieve anything. They keep marching around, and it's the same with the Night's Watch. They assemble armies of their own. For all we've been doing is raiding each other's villages. No actual, like, battles or, like, proper sieges have taken place. So in the end, I've just been farming bandits, building up whatever influence I can to get some kind of a daily wage. And we resorted to smithing. I've been sitting here grinding my smithing level as much as I possibly can, fulfilling as many orders as we can. I've managed to get it up to level 80 so far. But if you take a look with the money that I've earned from doing that, we now have an army of eight giants. We have nearly tripled in size since starting this video. <laughs> oh man, it is a painfully slow grind, but we are slowly getting there. If I refine eight fine steel, we could make ourselves this two-handed sword. Is this the sword that the king of giants should wield into battle? There are other swords that are better than this one, but if we take a look, they all use Thamascan steel, and well, we don't have a high enough level, and if I choose all the best parts, we'd need about 50 of it. But fine steel, on the other hand, I'm pretty sure I can make that right now. The only problem is, the difficulty on the weapon is 225, my smithing is 86, so when we attempt to make this sword, I'm probably going to absolutely butcher the stat. It'll probably be blunt. It'll be half the size. <laughs> I'll stick the handle the wrong way round or something, you know. That's how bad of a smith we are. We'll give it a go. Who knows? Even if the sword is bad, maybe it'll be worth a lot and I can sell it and continue building my giant army. It is time to craft our weapon. This sword literally took me days to get the materials for. With the amount of metal we had to refine, I'm now up to level 90. I think we were 86 when I started refining. And now it is time to forge our new blade.
Okay, okay. And we screwed it up. <laughs> well, I'm not too surprised, to be honest with you. I mean, it was way out of our reach. It is a dull crafted two-handed sword. We did gain two levels from making it, but it is a disappointing weapon, that's for sure. We did unlock a lot of new smithing parts making it though, which I suppose is always good. But if we head to our inventory, it's worth 9,000 gold. I mean, the materials I spent on it, we probably would have got more money if I had just sold the materials instead. For a 9,000 gold weapon, its damage is very high. 123 cutting, length 109, swing speed 93. I mean, it's probably way better than our current weapon, so I will use it for the time being. I mean, it's even longer as well, so yeah, we will use the sword, even though it's two-handed. You see it on my back, and well, I mean, if you can see it, <laughs> we have to kind of wiggle, and there you can see our little blade. But for now, it will do, but at least we know if we craft it better by getting our smithing skill higher, we could make ourselves a really good weapon. Something that would be stupidly overpowered. But I think that's enough smithing for now. We've grinded our way to level 92. I think it's about time we set out on another adventure and try to take down some enemies, do some quests, earn some gold, expand the army, conquer the world, and then call it quits. <laughs> And we have ourselves our first real battle. There are 500 Free Fork soldiers against 300 Night's Watch. It is time to show the world the power of the Giant's Clan. Follow me, Giants. Follow me. I don't know about the helmet, you know? I mean, I think wearing this helmet kind of makes me, like, not really look like a giant, if you get me. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks out of place. Have you ever seen a giant wear a helmet? My two-handed sword doesn't look that big either. It looks like a dagger at best. <laughs> but we have our giants. The free folk look like a bunch of peasants, I won't lie. God help us when we see the Night's Watch. We have someone who's dead already. On me, giants! On me! We have some cavalry trying to sneak around the side. The best part about being a giant, you shouldn't be able to get kicked over by a horse. At least I hope we can't. <laughs> It'll be awkward if a horse just comes running past and just boots me in the head. We have the new javelins as well. The ones that do like 100 damage. And against armored opponents, they don't do an awful lot. Bit of a shame. Alright, giants. Are you ready, men? It is clobbering time. If we slice through the Night's Watch, killing as many as we can, we can earn all the influence, we can earn all the renown, we can earn all the battle loot, we can just earn, 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 earn! <laughs> I won't lie, lads, I'm desperate as you can tell. We need as much gold as possible. But if we slice down as many Night's Watch soldiers as we can, Get as much battle loot as we can. I'm hoping that they have decent battle loot at least. And their uniforms don't sell for about 10 gold each. I don't know where he thinks he's going. Well... It's safe to say we absolutely obliterated this Night's Watch army. They didn't stand a chance. Well, in that battle, I didn't lose a single giant. We got 16% of the loot. We got a nice bit of influence and renown. That should get us a good bit of gold. But I'm more surprised at the kills. 
there were only eight of us and we killed 65 enemies. I mean, I only took down 14. The five giants took down 28 and they can all level up. As for the battle loot, it's not amazing. It's not bad either though. I can't really complain. We've got a cow to feed the men. I'm sure the giants would love that. And who knows, maybe I can turn one of those cow's legs into a giant club of my own. Although I don't know if we need it anymore now that I've crafted my sword. I know the end goal is to eventually kill all of the Night's Watch and take the wall for ourselves. But for now, we are just going to ransom the Lords. I mean, if we take a look, he's worth almost one and a half thousand gold. And if we ransom him now, get the money, get more giants, we can then come back later and cave in his skull. So don't you worry, we will kill him eventually. It's just at the moment, money is more important. Well, thanks to all the battle loot that we just earned and the money from ransoming the prisoners, we got ourselves another giant. Just the one this time, but it does mean since the start of the video, we have tripled our army. I mean, you may hear someone say they've tripled the size of their army and think, damn, that's pretty good. But in reality, we went from three to nine. <laughs> so yes, we have tripled the army. But we had a pretty small army to begin with anyway. I'm still slowly grinding smithing in the background. Like you can see we just fulfilled an order for a throw in axe for 3000 gold. But I need to find a way to get more gold. What would be the best way we can get gold rapidly? Because I mean we only managed to recruit 6 giants this video. I mean that is 60,000 gold. So we have been earning a really good amount of gold. But it's not good enough. I need more giants if we're going to go south and actually battle the Night's Watch on our own. Because with 20 giants, we might see an army of, say, 50 soldiers. They'll attack us thinking they have number advantage. But the might of 20 giants will absolutely obliterate their army. We can earn a lot of renown and influence and we can move on with our day. It's just getting over that initial hurdle of that starting gold. Once we have the army, it's fine, no issues. It's just getting it. After all, I'm Emir, King of the Frost Giants. I was born for a single purpose, to bring death to my enemies. I was not born to make a living. I don't know how you earn gold. But that is going to be it for this part. And as I said, it looks like we've got some more grinding ahead of us. But as always, a big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. And until next time, see ya.